hold you here, cosmic heart space. I'm just coming on to do a live today to talk about the last post that I brought through. Hi Jay. So I'm just gonna give a couple, like a minute I guess, see people come in. Hi, Dao Witch King. <laughs> so I'm just gonna let people come in for just a second. Um, and I can just talk about what's been going on. I am doing wonderful, thank you. I hope you're doing well too. Where are you from? I'm going to be talking about an event in uh, Hanika. So I'm going to be talking about an event that's going on in England, in the UK. I'm going to be doing a one day workshop in Westmoreland. Hi, Brooklyn. <laughs> so um, this event is you know i'm quite excited about it actually it's going to be really good we have a stone circle nearby the chiropractors it's not too far and um, i've been connecting with this beautiful stone circle for quite some time now and i feel like this energy and you know, i would like to share with others and share how we can connect with the stones connect with the land in a way that I think many of us have lost that connection and that deeper uh, understanding of the stones and not just stones but the plants, the animals, um, connecting with the trees, and, like actual communication. I mean we, we have, hello, we have the ability to really connect in on a telepathic sense, hello. So I'm speaking about an event that's happening in Westmoreland. I'm talking about what, what we're going to be doing at this time. We're going to be connecting with a stone circle. And uh, yeah, really looking forward to it. And this isn't the only thing we're going to be doing. I'm going to also be making personal light codes for each person that comes to the event. Um, it's going to be quite limited to the number of people that I that attend. It's, because um, I want to be able to connect in with everybody, I want to be able to have the time as well to, to create everybody's um, codes because they do take at least a few hours um, for each one and maybe probably a day for each one actually, <laughs> um, you know, so that will be, they'll be printed off and then we're going to learn how to work with them, so I've been creating a guide a PDF guide which will go out to all of the future online and in-person workshops that I do ever end up doing in the future and it probably will expand and grow as, as more things that I start to embody and learn even through my own practice you know this is everything that I learn through the work that I do I then bring it into what we're doing and I share it with others so that we can all try and do this together and learn how to work with these what we call in we call in light codes aren't we light code mandalas energy frequency mandalas and then really what i'm specifically bringing through are like the the, the cymatics it's sound frequency representation so sound frequencies are you know these are cosmic dimensional frequencies that we're then creating this template, this creation of it, so we can then attune ourselves by bringing our attention to it. And that's something that's gonna be really, really important um, for now and in the future. Hello. Because um, the Pacific ones that I'm creating as well are so that we can attune to these frequencies that we want to embody for this new earth. So we're coming into that angelic resonance embodying the angelic resonance, embodying our multi-dimensional selves, embodying that pure, de love, pure divine love and light, yes, that peace and light, we're embodying that. And how we can do that more and have a practice for it is attuning to these cymatics or these mandalas that are specifically attuned to the frequency in which you bring through into this earth. Hello, Joseph. So we're bringing that through and enabling that for our own practice. And I want to have that 
I want to have a space for us to do that all together because it feels really important for me personally and I think for many others to have a bit of real in-person connection and, and contact and I want to be able to take people through the journey. So we'll be doing movements, we'll be doing sound and toning, lots of different things that I practice daily and many people are asking me, you know, how to you know, activate things like light language and 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 write, write codes and, and connect to the multi-dimensional aspects and I'm going to be creating that space to enable that. But what I've come to discover is that it's not about um, something called light language. It is the innate sound frequency of the soul expressing itself and sometimes it comes through and it's not necessarily even that it's like a pleasant sound or a positive sound but this is sound frequencies that are coming through so they're either coming through to be cleared to be released or they're there for healing transformation maybe we do it for the collective and ourselves or other people but we want to learn how to harness that and understand and know when we are doing certain things and what certain things mean because otherwise hi Andrew so otherwise we are actually um, sometimes getting a little bit ahead of ourselves and just bringing everything out without having that full um, nourishment of understanding of, of what it is so uh, all of that's going to be coming into to fruition through the day workshop so we'll be going through the um, an activation and transmission with the stones and then we're going to be moving through to be into the chiropractor's space so it's like a big open space really sacred I work there daily um, a few days a week and I have been working through the grid system here so it's really activated there's a whole template <laughs> at this place it's like walking into like a you know, it's, it's higher than 5D, you know, it's this temple when you go in, okay? We go in, we say, we're in this sacred space, and we begin to um, work through the different things that I'm going to bring in. And there'll probably be, hi William, so there'll probably be lots of different things that will happen as well. Um, I'm going to keep it quite uh, fluid and flowing, because I don't want to, like, um, be, yeah, crystal matrix. Don't, I don't want to be exactly... Um, this is exactly what we're going to do because I want it to flow. I want it to be something that we kind of fall into what needs to come through and what's going to happen. There'll definitely be a crystal meditation at the end. I can feel that one coming in. We'll work with the crystals and the crystal realms and, and, and beings um, and all of the beings that are going to be coming through and, and uh, I really hope to bring that in with it for, for many others so that they can experience it and understand it more within themselves. Allow that innate wisdom to just come through. It's just being playful. It's just being joyful and, and experiencing life like that because that's really what we're doing. I think we're, we've been in, in our very structured society for, for myself and those that have maybe had their awakening to understanding light language and so forth and yes it has potency and meaning and it, it really is um, but we take it so much to the extreme of that knowing that we forget the playful side of it you know the singing and experiencing it from just being in pure joy and pure bliss and 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 then living from that state of being so that's really what we're doing that's what we're coming back to is that state um, and it's about you know removing all of the density around it as well, um, and that that will all happen in in time as we move through things. But yeah, I'm going to give you a little bit of a snippet of that and how to be in that presence uh, with your daily life for those that come, of course. Those of you guys that are in America and stuff like that, because I can see a few of you are. Um, you know, I will probably do a workshop that will enable you to, to do it online as well, if, if it resonates. Um, I haven't thought about how exactly that's going to go, because I like to do, like, you know, taking people to stone circles. Although, saying that, um, one of my other workshops that's already on there, I do have a stone circle meditation. So we do things visualise, I suppose we are travelling, aren't we, um, through the etheric realms <laughs> so uh yeah it can happen <laughs>
But uh, yeah, it's just nice to do things in person as well. I want to have that balance. I want to bring more of it. I don't know about you guys, if anybody does do workshops and does do things like that, but I think we need to start bringing it into where we live, where we are, to, to really anchor that and give some people out there some experiences that maybe they wouldn't have had before. Maybe there'll be some people that will attend and they might not be totally clued up uh, on on what we call light language and you know dancing in that way we're going to learn how to like move our hands and doing codes with our hands and you know working with the geometry and the energy structures uh, so that could be all new for some people or just remembering that that's exactly what they've been doing all along which is very much something that happened for me so if you want to hear like a little backstory about me and my own personal journey is that like I've really always been doing it like even now like you know you can see like I'm always moving my hands it's just how I'm, I work if I was to keep my hands still while I was talking like I'd find it really difficult it's almost like I'm pulling it through like I'm <laughs> creating it with my hands so um, yeah I just want to give some people some of that uh, wisdom that that's already happening sometimes we talk to animals or if we had siblings we might have spoken to them in other languages and just what we would have called gobbledygook and things like that and not really tuning into what it is because we're just in that innate playfulness and then as we get older that kind of breaks down and we we don't acknowledge what that was anymore and then we start to reconnect as we get older but maybe sometimes we're a bit resistant to that because of society because of potential judgment from others to ourselves um, so it's about letting go of that as well. So that all will happen. And there's some really nice little cottages and things like that uh, nearby. So I'm going to put those all in the description in the email. So yeah, so my last point I'm going to make here is that for the early, early bird, because I'm going to do like a three-part um, payment idea of, first of all, I'm going to send it out on an email and that email whoever wants to book through first they can uh, get it through the email i'm going to put that out for a couple of days allow everybody to get that early bird and then i'll put an early bird out for everybody else um, and then as the weeks go on i'm then going to put out the full price so for anybody that still wants to come along um, and it's really good it's a really good price and it's going to be 77 pound for the early early birds <laughs> the early early birds um, and that's going to mean that you get that a whole, you get your own code, you know, that's painted, printed as well with the PDF. We're going to get a lunch. Um, you're getting a trip to a stone circle with an activation. We're going to be doing lots throughout the day. This is a full on day. This is like 10 till six. Um, and we're going to be going out yeah, from stone circle to sacred space. So then from the sacred space, you're going to be guided through many activations of through movement, sound and meditation. So it'll be absolutely beautiful, full of all sorts of different things. And I'm really, really looking forward to it. And this is on da -da -da -da, September the 18th. So it's a Saturday as well. So hopefully there'll be lots of people that of you that can make it. So uh, yes, lots of love. Oh, hello, I'm just about to wrap up. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me. Lots of love, lots of love. Um, yeah. And thank you all who came in and just watched and uh, obviously everyone can watch on the replay uh, and get to know what's going on. So thank you. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Thank you too. And uh, yeah, I'll see you all soon. I'll probably pop on again at some point this week because uh, I can feel like some transmissions coming through from the stones. So I want to give you a feeling of the stones that are present with me right now and the um, trees as well that are surrounded that area. They're very, uh, ooh, yeah, very, very humble ancient stones in the in this particular line that that comes through from the stones and, and through the stone journey as well as you walk up to it there's a few trees there as well that are very protective over the area and
holding that space. So, yes, okay, much love. And uh, yeah, I'll speak to you all soon. <laughs> Bye-bye now.